Hello all. In, this in the previous lecture, we have seen uh, if statement nested if, uh, if else if ladder and all. So in this lecture, we will see a switch case statement. So we have in the if statement we have seen uh, else if ladder. So in that else if ladder, we can have multi-way selection. It is a kind of multi-way selection statement. So if one condition is false, then we will check for another condition. And if it is false, we will check for another condition. Like that, we can we can check for several different conditions. Similarly, in switch case statement, to express that multi-way statement, multi-way selection, we can use this switch case statement instead of that else statement. So we will see the switch case statement. So this is the general syntax of the switch case statement. We have a switch. This is a keyword. And inside that we will have an expression so expression can be anything so this expression should evaluate to an integer integral value so it should be an integer or a character so this expression so this expression should evaluate to a integer integral value that means it should either be an integer or a character constant so what it does is it will evaluate a particular value and it will match with the several cases that are there. So if this expression is evaluated to some value like 2, so it will check whether that 2 value is present in any of these cases. So the case is also a keyword. So value 1 can be anything, uh, value 2 can be anything, value n can be anything. And there is a default case also. So what it does is when it evaluates this expression and it will try to find the matching case. So for example, if this expression is uh, 5, evaluated to 5, it will check whether there is some value uh, 5 here. If, the, if this value 1 is 5, whether it is value 2 is 5 or whether this value n is 5. So if any of those cases are found, then what it does is it will execute that particular block, block of statements. And when there is a break statement, what it does is it will stop the execution. It will not execute the rest of the cases and it will for, uh, execute the statement X. So this is what switch does. Is. So whenever it finds a matching value of this expression, it will execute that case statement. So if it is evaluated to value 2, then this case will be executed. Instead of this, this case too will be the, all the statements or block means any number of statements. All the statements inside that case will be executed. And when it when there is a break statement, it will break its execution. It will execute the last statement after the uh, switch statement. So if a, none of the values matches any of these cases, if there is a default case, so default it is a optional key thing. If you have included the default case, then not all statements are there inside this default, those statements will be executed. So this is an optional block. So this is not a mandatory block, this can be default. And we can include any number of cases. I have included only three cases. We can have any number of cases inside this switch case statement. Okay. So none of the uh, values, if, none, if the expression evaluates some other value, which is not there in any of these cases, and if there is a default block, then that default block will be executed and the execution continues to the next statement after statement next. So switch, case and break are all keywords. Okay, we will see an example, then you will understand. So before that, we will see how the flow happens. So we have a switch expression will be there. That expression will be evaluated. And what it does is uh, based on that expression, if it is case one, if it is first case, then what it does is it will uh, execute those statements and the break statement will execute it and the control goes to the statement after the switch statement. If the case one, it is false, then what it does is it will check for case two. So if it is true, then the other case two block will be executed. So case two block will be executed and checks for the break statement. If that break statement is there, then again the control flows to the statement after the switch. Similarly, if case 2 is also false, then it will check for the next statement that is case uh, n. So I have missed this value, so it may be an n value, case n. And if it is s, then it that statement will be executed and it, the execution flows. 
So if none of the cases is there, then if we have included a default block, if we have included a default block, so if all these cases are false and if we have included, so this is optional. If there is a default block, then that statement, those statements will be executed and the control flows after the switch case statement. Okay. So this is the general behavior of this state, uh, switch case statement. So we will see in detail what is the switch case block. So this is the general syntax of the switch case statement. Now expression can be I can be integer expression or a character expression. So this expression should be either an integer expression or a character expression. So it should evaluate to an integral value. Integral value means it should result in an integer value. So it should be either an integer value or character. So you know character will give a if you are including a character in single quotes, if you are including A inside single quotes, it means some uh, character will be there. If it is capital A, it might be 64 like that. So there is an ASCII value for that particular character. So it is also an integer value. So expression can be uh, integer expression or a character expression. Then value 1, 2, N are case labels which are used to identify each case individually. So this value 1, value 2, value n are all case uh, labels. So it can be considered as labels. So it is like an identifier. So if that expression is evaluated to 5, then maybe it's a case 5 will be executed. Then case labels always end with a column. So you should understand that it is a column, it is not a semicolon. So all the statements in the in C will end with a semicolon, but case label will end with a colon. So it means it is a, some block of statements. Then break keyword in each case indicates the end of that particular case. So we have already seen there is a break statement here. So break statement means it is to break from this case. So to break from that case means it will execute the statement x after executing this case so if it is false then nothing will be executed inside this block inside instead it will check for the next case and if it is true then the block of statements will be executed and when that break statement occurs the control transfers to the last statement so that is the statement x after the switch case statement okay then uh, default case is an optional one so it is a i have already mentioned it is a default Thing, we may or may not include that default case so once the switch is executed the control will go to the statement x so that is the statement after the switch case so this is an example we will see so switch ch so ch is some character so we have ch is a character variable so if you have given that ch as capital a so it is included in single quotes so it has some integral value so if you are including in a single quotes it means it has some ascii value so it will evaluate to an integer value so if that is an case then we will be printing a, you entered an a then and this break statement if ch equal to b then this statement will be executed and break will go if it is neither a or b then the default will be executed not valid and the break statement will execute so in this way, that's the statement executes. I will show another example. So we have include another example here, switch of choice. So choice, so choice can be anything. So we have all, in the previous statement, we have might have said that choice equal to some three or choice equal to seven like that. So it will check choice, whether it is one. So if it is one, then this statement will be executed and this break statement and after that, the execution goes to the statement after that if the choice is 2 then this case 2 will be executed if the choice is 3 then this statement will be executed like that and if the choice is neither 1 nor 2 nor 3 then the default case will be executed then this is another example so here I am not including any break statement so what happens if I am not including any break statement so it is some variable there is donation level so I am entering some domination level value, maybe five or six something I am giving some value. So if I am including, I am giving that donation level as four. For example, if I am giving that donation level as four, what happens is 
it will check whether it is for case one it is not for so it is false so this statement won't be executed then case two it will check whether it is for no it is not so this word statement won't be executed then case three it is not for so this statement won't be executed then case four uh, it is true so this statement will be executed you are donated you are uh, you, sorry you have donated over rupees 500 and this break statement will be executed okay so this statement will be printed now for example i am going to uh, set the donation level as one for example if i am giving the uh, or example i'll give the donation level as two so what uh, or you will say we can say that donation level uh, as two okay let it be donation level as two so we will see what happens if we are giving as two so what happens is it will check this first case so it is false so this statement won't, won't be executed now donation level case two it is true so this case is true so if we have given as two so this is true so this statement will be printed print of you have donated over 3000 so you have donated more than 3000 rupees now what happens is there is no break statement here so it won't break that case so what happens is it will continue its execution so it will again check for case 3 it will check for case 3 also so it will check for case 3 then after that it will check for case 4 like that it will go on checking because we have not included the break statement since we have not pre, uh, included the break statement it will continue this execution until it it finds this break statement okay this is another example i am giving uh, some variable like number so some value will be given number so what here is it will check whether the number is 1 3 so we, there is no block of statements inside this case statement so instead of including a block of statement inside every case i have included a block uh, statement inside this case 9 so i have included a print of statement inside this case 9 so this means that if it is if you are even if you are entering the number is 1 what it does is it is 1 so no statement is there it will continue its execution since there is no break statement it will continue its execution it will check whether case 3 it is false case 5 case 7 like that it will go on then it will execute the statement print of this statement will be executed since there is no uh, case uh, there is no uh, state uh, break statement after this case one it will go on executing all the statements and this print of also will be executed and then it will be broken so here also the, the same thing happens when we give this case to, uh, donation level as two what happens is it will print the statement then it will continue its execution it will go to this case 3 even though it is false it will execute this print of you have donated rupees 1000 will be printed then after that case 4 you have donated over 500 will also be printed and after that only it will be break so even if when we give this donation level as 2 not only this statement all the following statements will also be executed because we have not included a break state so the same thing happens here even if we are given the number as 1 or 3 it will continue its execution and it will execute this statement even though it is inside this case name it, this statement will be executed so if you are giving like this it means all these cases will belong to the same set of statements and it will continue its execution all continue its execution uh, each statement after uh, one after the other until that break statement occurs similarly here uh, if you are given some value like 4 so what it does is it will continue this is 1 is false 3 is false 5 is false 7 is false 9 is also false then it will check case 2 it is true it is false case 4 it is true so it will go on executing like this then it will print this statement percentage d that 4 is an even number and breaks it so if you are not entering any of these numbers 1 2 3 up to 9 then this default case will be printed so this way also we can write this switch statement so the, if we are not including any break statement inside these cases it will continue its execution until a break statement is got so if you are not including a break statement inside this case nine also what happens is it will continue its execution so this will also be printed this statement will also be printed so it will the program will go wrong 
so even if you are giving some number as 9 so even though here that execution happens and this break statement is not there then it will continue its execution like this it will check go on checking like this and again this statement will also be printed even though it is 9 is not an even number it will print that 9 is an even number like that it will be printed and that break statement uh, will uh, occurs when that occurs it will come out of this switch statement so that is the importance of this break statement so you have to include that break statement wherever it is necessary otherwise it will continue its execution okay so we will see some uh, example programs uh, so I have already written some programs switch.c so this is a first program so here I am declaring this is hash include everything is same so we are declaring a way, uh, integer n then we are asking to enter a number n enter the number so scan of percentage d is ampersand n so uh, we will get a number from the user so it is stored in n and what it does is we have an expression inside the switch it is n mode 2 n mode 2 so it is actually to get the remainder so we will be dividing that number by 2 and we will find we will find out the remainder so if the remainder is 0 it will either evaluate to 0 or 1 so if it is 0 what it does is it will print it is an even number print of that it is even and it will break and case 1 what it does is print f uh, it is odd and it will break out. So this is a simple program. We will run this program and see that GCC switch dot C. Okay, I have compiled it dot slash a dot out. So you are asked to enter a number. So what I am going to do is I am going to enter an uh, even number first. So you can see that it is even it is printed. So it is an even number. The same thing you can print uh, odd number also. You can see that it will check whether it is odd and it will be printed. Now we will uh, again go back to the same program and we will see what happens if we are uh, removing this uh, break statement. So I am going to comment this break statement. So I am just commenting this line. Okay. I have commented this so that break statement is not there okay I have removed that thing and I am going to save it again now again I am going to compile it and again I am going to enter a number so here again I am going to enter 24 so what happens is even and odd will be printed so we are entering 24 but what happens is it is printing even and odd so why that happens is because it will check 24 mode 2 it is 0 so k0 should be executed and it will be executed print of even will be printed since this break statement is commented i have removed this break statement it will continue its execution even though this case 1 it is not 1 it will print this statement also print of this uh, odd will be also be executed then breaks it okay so it will continue its execution until it finds a break statement so it is important to include this break statement if you want to break from that case otherwise it will continue its execution so the result will be wrong it is even though if even if you are giving 24 it is printing it is it as even and odd okay so that is the importance of this uh, case uh, break statement okay now i will show another example uh, switch uh, one dot c another simple example i have so here we are in entering a character element. so we have already seen a number type expression which is evaluating to number we are trying for a character so here we are declaring a character variable grade and a user is to ask uh, is asked to enter a grade and that grade will be stored in percentage c so it is percentage c it will be stored in grade okay that grade will be stored in grade whatever character you enter you have to enter a single character so you can uh, so if and here we are switch of grade so you will be entering a character so if you have entered a capital O then 
this will be printed printf outstanding and 10 points and break statement is there so it will uh, come out of this case statement so it will uh, come out of this sys statement and it will execute this printf statement your grade is like that it will be printed then if you have entered a then this statement will be executed and break so this a, a, after that this printf will be printed similarly like c case b then there is case c also and uh, last we have included case d and case c so if you are entering case d or case c then it will be printing this statement okay even if you are entering d or e if you are entering d or e then the same statement will be executed okay then if it is case f then failed will be included. then if you are entering some other character then this default block print of invalid grade will be printed okay okay we will uh, run this program gcc switch one dot c now dot slash a dot out now you are asked to enter a grade so i will enter o so you have to enter capital o itself we have given all capital letters so you have to enter capital o. so you will print outstanding and 10 points so this is inside the case block and this is outside the switch statement so the statement after that switch will be printed because we have included a break statement after this print uh, print of statement now i will print some other d and e so i am entering capital d so d if you are entering past and six points will be printed and your grade will be printed like this now even if you enter capital e also you will get the same thing past and six points okay now if you are entering uh, some other uh, f uh, some other value if you are entering f then your failed will be printed fail your grade is f will be printed now if you are entering some other character like even if you are entering small a also invalid grade will be printed your grade is a that statement will also be printed so the default block will be printed because you have entered a so small a is not there you have to either make capital a or any other characters which is not that in the case then uh, it will be like this okay now we will see another example switch two dot c sorry switch to dot c so this is another example so this is a calculator program uh, if you want uh, to calculate if you want to do addition subtraction multiplication division or remainder uh, we can use this calculator program so what here uh, it is uh, this is the same in main then we are uh, we are uh, declaring care operator so operator is a variable a character variable now we are declaring three variables integer variables n1 n2 and a result so it is a calculator for integer addition subtraction multiplication division and also for remainder calculation then you are asked to enter the first operand so you have to enter the first operand if you want to, you can enter two like that scan of percentage d ampersand n so n1 it will be stored in n1 then you are asked to enter the second operand and it will be stored in n2 now uh, what happens is you are asked to enter an operator so you have to enter from these operators plus minus star asterisk uh, then slash and uh, modulus operator so you have to enter uh, any of these five operators so all these are characters are considered to be characters in c so uh, it is stored in operator variable so that operator will be stored in this operator variable now switch of operator so this is a character expression now character so whatever character you have entered it will check whether it is plus so it is it should be included in single quotes character a case of plus if you have entered plus then what it does is it will add those two numbers n1 plus n2 will be added and the result is stored here and we have another one more statement inside this sum of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d will be that is sum of n1 if you have entered 2 and 3 is 5 will be printed the result will be this percentage d will be received you have already seen this print of statement at all 
So first percent ID will be replaced by N1, the second percent ID will be replaced by N2 and the third percent ID will be replaced by this result. So if you are entered minus then this block will be executed that is N1 minus N2 will be done and it will be stored in result and the statement will be printed. Similarly, if it is asterisk, multiplication will be done, product will be displayed. Then if it is a case, this character you have entered, then this statement, this set of statements, n1 by n2 will be done and the quotient will be printed. Then if it is modulus operator you have entered, percentage symbol, then modulus will be done. n1 mod n2 will be done and the remainder will be printed like this. And if we are not entering any other operator, then the default block will be printed. Incorrect operator will be printed. Okay. Uh, we will see this. We will run this program. Uh, GCC. Switch2.c. Okay. Uh, there is some other uh, error here. Uh, oh, sorry. It's a warning. No problem. So you are asked to enter the first operand. Now I am entering the first operand as 3 and the second operand I am entering as 5. Now you are asked to enter an operator. So I am simply entering uh, this plus operator. So I will enter this plus operator. Now sum of 3 plus 5 is 8 will be printed. Okay. Now if you want to again uh, check for some other value you can do it 5 and 6. And now we are entering this uh, modulus operator. So one more operator is the uh, modulus operator. So I'll enter modulus operator. F remainder of 5 divided by 6 is 5. So remainder is 5. You know that I think. So in this way you can do this expression. <coughs> okay. So it will check for the particular case. And that set of statements will be executed. Okay. Now I think one more program is there. Uh, Vim switch3.c okay this is another example so in main then we have uh, a character c we are declaring c as character variable now we are asked to enter a character you are entering it as a character so this program is to check whether you know, the character entered is a vowel or not okay now here you can see this switch of c this is the expression now case a small a and you are including a colon here after that you are making it as case capital a also it is not necessary that you write, should write both in the same state line and all you can make it in two statements also you can make it as two statements so instead of like this writing like this you can enter a key you can write like this also okay it's not necessary that you should make it in a single statement and all. So if you are entering A, small a or capital A or small e or capital E, I, I, capital I, even if it is O, capital O, U or capital U, then or in all, if you are entering any of these cases, then this statement will be printed. Percentage C is always a vowel. Okay. If you are entering AEIOO, whether it is in small letter or capital letter, it will be printing it is a vowel. And that break statement will execute. So, nothing, uh, no other statements will be executed. So, if you are entering Y or capital Y, so in English, Y is also sometimes uh, considered as a vowel uh, symbol, a uh, vowel sound also. So, Y, if you are entering Y or capital Y, you are, will be printing that y is, a, is sometimes a vowel or if you are entering some other character then it will be printing like it is not a vowel at all. Okay. Do not be confused this y with y and all in English it is like that. I okay, will run this program. So I will clear it. Okay. Uh, GCC the our program is switch3.c. Okay. Now I will run, uh, run this a dot out. So you are asked to enter a character. So I will enter a small character. So a is a always a vowel. So it is always considered as a vowel. Now I will enter capital A. So even if I am entering capital A, a is always a capital. Uh, capital A is always a vowel will be printed. 
now I will enter y then it will be y is sometimes a vowel will be printed now I will enter some other character like r then r is not vowel so that default block will be printed default will be printed so if you are entering some other character also even if you are entering uh, o small o then also it will be printed so this way you can include a, any number of cases inside this uh, single block okay so this is a switch case statement then there's nested switch statement also nested switch statement we can have nesting like in if else statement also we have seen this nested if and all similarly in switch case statement also we have can you have nesting that is we can include a switch statement inside another switch statement so this is an example switch ch1 so case a if it, if it's evaluated to case a then this statement will be executed this a is part of outer switch will be printed again inside this case we are including a switch statement so as per the Swiss case statement, whatever statements that are there will be executed. So this way, inside this another switch is there. So again, it will evaluate this Swiss uh, CH2 and it will check for this whether it is again case A. Then the, this is a part of inner switch statement will be printed. And this break statement is actually part of this case. Okay, so it will break from it. So it will go out of the Swiss statement then it will execute this break statement and it will come out of the state like that it will execute okay so you can have nested switch also we will see a, an example for this nested switch uh, i vim nested switch dot c is there so this is an example simple example to show this nested switch so we are declaring two variables a and b and it is initialized to 100 and 200 respectively then uh, switch of a so a it is 100 so uh, switch of a means switch of 100 so case 100 so it is true so inside this we are including this statement this is part of outer switch this statement will be printed then after that inside that case we are including another switch statement then what it does is it will be is 200 switch of 200 so case 200 so it will go to this statement case this is true so what happens is again this printf will be printed after that we have a break statement here so it will break out so it will break out of the switch and it will execute this break statement so this is part of this switch statement and this it will come out of this statement and it will execute these two statement printf exact value of a is and exact value of b will be printed okay uh, i'll run this program okay so i'll run this program now uh, GCC now dot slash a dot out okay so this is so the first statement uh, I have given a as 100 so the first case statement will be executed this is the outer switch then again it will go to the B when case B it is 200 the outer part will be inner part will be executed after that we have break statement when we have two break statement first break statement to uh, break from the inner switch then the second break will be from the outer switch after that the two statements that follow the switch statement will be executed so this is how uh, it happens okay so this is the example okay so this is what so this is nesting hits there so you can include a switch statement inside a case also in this way it will be executed okay now we will go back to the slide so this is a nested switch statement so we can have any number of nesting and all we usually include does not use this nested switch and all if necessary you can use this as nested switch statement then i have included a small exercise here uh, we have uh, a few programs so what is this the first statement uh, first program is to implement a calculator for double numbers so we have already seen how to do calculator for 
integer numbers. Similarly, you can make it for a uh, double numbers. Then we have to check whether the entered character is vowel or not. So we have already seen that program. You can try that program. Then you have to program to print the decimal number 0 to 9 entered inwards. So the user has to enter some decimal number. So if the uh, now person enters as 2, then you have to print as 2 T W O should be printed. Okay, if you are, the user has entered 5, then F I V E should be printed. So this is another program. So you can do uh, these three programs. Thank you.